in committing a genocide against some 12 million Uyghur Muslims. Yeah. We had been debating uh, the PRC's genocide uh, in Xinjiang in early 2021. The that's right. Okay. So yes. the, the PRC has yeah. been committing a genocide against some 12 million Uyghur Muslims yeah. who live in Xinjiang province in the Stupid. western part of the People's Republic of China. These 12 million individuals have been subject to detention camps, forced labor, forced sterilization, and a whole range of genocidal activities yeah. that are and going on. The son of a Sikh activist is calling for justice after the prime minister leveled those allegations linking India to his father's murder. It's been hard, obviously, you know. You, you never expect something like this to happen, but the way it went down where he had just come to the Gurdwara to pray and, you know, speak from the stage as he usually would every Sunday. Balraj Nijer says his father, Hardeep Singh Nijer, met with CSIS officers every week before he was gunned down outside a temple in Surrey in June. Nijer was a leading voice in his community and called for an independent Sikh state. For that, he was labeled as a terrorist by India. The RCMP had also warned Niger about threats on his life. In Ottawa, Prime Minister Trudeau is standing by his allegations. We are not uh, looking to provoke or escalate. We are simply laying out the facts as uh, we understand them. Senior government sources say the Prime Minister knew security agencies were looking into India's possible role in Niger's death for weeks before going public. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh says he has asked for India to be an area of focus in the public inquiry into foreign interference. After expressing his shock over the allegations Monday, Conservative leader Pierre Polyev now says he wants to see more evidence. As Canada investigates Niger's death, our allies are treading carefully. So the U.S. and the U.K. have released statements saying... Those responsible need to be brought to justice, but neither of the statements mentions India. The Prime Minister is in New York for the UN General Assembly, where Canada's focus will include climate change. So the US and the UK have released statements saying those responsible need to be brought to justice, but neither of the statements mentions India.